Sayat have given the Ibiza a facelift, but because its fresh sporting design always was so appealing, the design alterations are not that conspicuous. The headlights are a slightly different shape and now have LED daytime running lights. The wheels have also been revamped. The 16 and 17 inch wheels now have a new design. As well as this, there are now so-called color packs allowing customers to individualize the color scheme of their car, including, for example, the radiator grill frame and wing mirror housings. We have the möglichkeiten geschaffen. We've also made it possible, especially for female customers, to customize the car even more individually, so to speak, with special fabrics, special colors, not only featured in the seats, but which are also in the instrument panel with high gloss air vents and on the wheels and the wing mirrors. So there are a whole lot of ways to make the car more individual and even more appealing, especially for female customers. <laughs> The interior has also been given a real makeover. As soon as you get in, you notice that the Ibiza now has the famous steering wheel belonging to its big brother, the Leon. Behind it is a more easily readable instrument cluster, which also has a larger screen in the middle of the instrument panel. The cabin makes a fresher impression with new color design elements. The most prominent new feature can be seen in the middle of the new dashboard. One of the latest generation of infotainment systems has been installed in the Ibiza. For this purpose, it now has a 7-inch touchscreen for navigation and infotainment functions. The multimedia systems can be hooked up to almost every smartphone via Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and MirrorLink. Of course, we're addressing the needs of young customers, especially for whom it's an absolute must to have their iPhone or smartphone connected to the car. But I don't think it's just young customers. I'm certain that everyone who uses a smartphone nowadays, meaning, of course, the data it carries, which they take with them, whether it's music, contact details, or other information, wants to use it in their car too, of course. And I'm absolutely convinced that they will also gladly accept and make use of this feature. But the biggest technical changes remain hidden. However, they become evident during the first few meters. Seat have given the Ibiza a retuned suspension system. Adaptive shock absorbers are available for the first time. The engines are based on the latest technology. The basic engine is a three-cylinder with 75 horsepower. With the help of a turbo, the next level can summon up 95 horsepower. The most sporting engine is the 150 horsepower four-cylinder. This version can deactivate two of its combustion chambers when required. The 75 horsepower diesel is the most economical engine with average fuel consumption of 3.4 liters. The new generation Ibiza will be in the showroom starting this summer.